Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to be installing a medicine cabinet here on the wall and we're going to recess it into the wall. This particular model you can either mount it outside on the wall or in the wall. We chose to mount it in the wall. All right, so what we did is we, we know the dimensions of the cabinet is 24, 24 by 30. So instead of lifting the medicine cabinet up on the wall, we cut a piece of cardboard the size of the opening that we're going to make. And then we put it on the wall. We decided where it's going to be. And then we marked out the outside edges of the um, medicine cabinet. We took our stud finder and we located studs inside the wall because if the cabinet is going to be 24 inches wide, we know we're going to hit one beam and possibly even two beams. And in this case, we are hitting two beams here and here. So what we're going to do first now is we're going to cut a hole in the middle of the wall right here just to verify that the studs are there because my stud finder tells me that they are. There. To there. So we know there's a stud here and we also mark where the stud is over here. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside there before we make the cut along the outside. Okay. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sheetrock uh, tool and we're going to come into the wall over here and we're going to cut a small hole just so we can see what's going on. When you put this sheetrock saw into the wall, don't go in too far because you don't want to penetrate the other side, whatever's on the other side of the wall. So you have about three inches inside that it needs to go into. So first thing we're going to do, let's put it up here and let's just get it in the wall. And then we'll just saw that the stud is there and it's right there I can feel it here and I can feel it here so we know the studs are right there I'm not going to bore you with this now I'm going to take my utility knife and I'm going to cut straight down along here and here and here to remove this part of the sheetrock right here I will tell you this I'm not going to cut it exactly the size of this outside part of the medicine cabinet and the reason for that is right here. You see the inside part here? This is the outside and this is the inside. This is slightly smaller. So what we want to do is we want to cut it about, I'm going to say about maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch on either side. We're going to leave it and we can always cut it later on to the exact dimension that we need. All right, so uh, let me cut that out. Once it's cut out, we'll come right back and uh, we'll get this installed. All right, so uh, get a cup of coffee and come on back. Okay, so now we have the uh, we have the opening cut out. Um, we cut it 29 and one half inches. Uh, the cabinet itself is 30 inches, so that'll give us a little bit of a half inch leeway. Uh, so we did cut it out here. We're going to take our two by four and we're going to cut. We're going to cut a two by four and we're going to put it in here to the wall and we're going to screw it into that stud right there. And then we're going to put a screw right through here into the other part, which is going to be inside here. Like that. We're going to put this down flush and we'll put a screw into it so that it's a nice straight even box. We're going to put a 2x4 in here and we're going to screw it in here as well, this way and this way. And then we'll put our other 2x4 up in the side right there and uh, we'll box the whole thing out and then we'll put the unit in. Okay, so we took our skill saw and we used our skill saw to cut out these studs right inside the wall right here. What we did is we actually came up in here with the saw like this and we cut through. Now the thing is with this one here, it didn't cut all the way through, so we needed to come in with the hand saw just to finish it off to cut it through the rest of the way in the back right here. All right, so now let's uh, let's get the wood to start framing out inside here, and uh, we'll get this medicine chest in. Okay, so now we have everything framed out. We have our two by fours on the wall here. We put our two by fours down at the bottom here. We cut our studs across here, so this is nice and level. We put a level on this to make sure that it was level here and plumb on the side, so we know that this is plumb, this is plumb, this is level, 
and this is level. Now if you need to, you can put some drywall screws in at this point here and here if you choose to, but I'm not going to. But if you choose to, you could. You may want to just touch it up a little bit wherever you did put the screws in. And now we're ready to put the cabinet into the opening. Okay, so now that we have everything all framed out and we're ready to put our medicine cabinet back in, we're going to need a level to make sure that the cabinet, when we put it in there, is going to be level and it's going to be plumb. Uh, I do know that the opening itself does need to be shimmed up because I did take a look at it already. So you may have to shim it in order to make it perfectly level. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the, the uh, medicine cabinet, put it in the opening. We're going to put our level on the bottom of it and we're going to make sure that it's exactly right. All right, make sure you have the vanity or the medicine cabinet opening the direction that you want. Like this particular one, I do want it to open this way, but if you choose to have it the other direction to open up, that's personal preference. All right, so we're going to take the vanity now. The, we're going to take the medicine cabinet now and we're going to lift it up and we're going to put it into the opening. Just like that. Push it in place where it belongs. And then before you do anything, take your level, put it underneath the bottom of the, the uh, medicine cabinet and make sure that it's level. And you can see that it is level. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the side of it. And we're going to make sure that it's plumb. And you can see it's exactly plumb where it belongs. Same top and the bottom. Okay? Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the screws and we're going to screw the medicine cabinet in place. So we're just going to hold it on the one side and we're going to open it up. And we're going to swing it open just like this. And now with the, with the medicine cabinet, you'll see multiple screws in here. On the side right in here, you see all these screws here. These are for shelves. But this one and this one are to hold the medicine cabinet in place. And of course, we have the same thing on the other side right here to hold it in place. All right, so now that we know that it's, uh, it's level and plumb, we're going to screw the cabinet in. And then we're going to tighten it up evenly in the opening. Okay, we're going to come in just like this, and we're going to screw it in. You may have to pre-drill the hole, but we'll see how it goes. not going to over tighten it. We're just going to screw the screw in until it holds. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side over here. Make sure it's in all the way. Put your screw in here. And then you can tighten it in. Again, you don't want to over tighten it. And then we're going to put the other two in the bottom here. medicine cabinet is in and then we can screw it in. Okay, last one. Okay, last screw we're going to put in. Make sure it's in all the way. And now we're going to do this by hand. We're going to tighten these screws in the rest of the way and then we'll make sure it's exactly where we want it. And that's it. Medicine cabinet is now finished. Now obviously all of this paper stuff is going to be coming off, but that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, so now we installed our shelves. Shelves were all set and like I said, they're adjustable to any level that you want. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the film off, that blue cover that's on there, the film. After we installed, everything is finished, we now take that film off and that's it. The job will be all done. Same thing on the mirror. We just pull that film off and then we'll be good to go. All right, so that's it. Our, our medicine cabinet is in, nice and tight. Everything looks pretty good. 
All right, so this job is done and we're on to the next one. All right, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.